Why? Holy shit, it's been a minute. Uh, BBR Season 4 uh, Semi-Finals. We're taking on Shea Quaza, coach of the Dallas Starmies, once again in a Week 5 rematch. If you guys are excited for today's Pokemon Wi-Fi battle, make sure you like the subscribe button down below. It's been an absolute headache for the last hour. Um, a certain bug type on our team wanted to be a little bit of an asshole and not gen properly. And, uh, you know, so I've had to keep my boy Shay waiting. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel really actually good about this game. So... We're big and chilling, as the kids would say. He brought Miss Mag. He didn't bring Vaporeon this time, which is a little bit interesting. Um, because, you know, Chen Pao moment. Last time I played Shay, I feel like it wasn't me. I feel like it was more me losing than me losing to Shay, if that makes sense in, like, non-offensive terms. But, like, I feel like I really didn't play my team to how it was built, so I kind of just lost the game myself there. Rebuild, kind of restructured the squad, but very similar build to last time with a couple, like, obviously major changes, like there's a fucking Slitherwing now. But, uh, yeah, obviously, it's go big or go home. We are playing, uh, what's it called? Uh, quarter, or semi-finals, fuck. Jesus Christ, my mind is all over the place. Go look fun of Shamey, you guys go check him out. I love Shay to death. He's super funny and just a great person, so. Makes you go check him out. Hawthorne, the Star Raptor. All right, this is perfect. Because this forces a Spore turn one or a Rock Tomb. He didn't bring Rotom, so I actually really like Rock Tomb here. Because it just un it's just unchecked. Like, where does he go on a Rock Tomb, right? Which makes me really want a Spore. But I don't like random Meowskarada, because I like Breaking Sash. I also like the damage on Scizor. I'm going to Rock Tomb. Get a U-turn. And, like, that's fine. 102, that looks like Scarf damage. Yeah. Just looking at the Calco, looks right. Hershifu. That's fine. Rock Tomb. Oh my goodness. Um, Meow Skarada at minus one. Faster? Yes, no. Depends how fast he is. Do I care? Because I can mock, but he can make the Miss Mag play here. I could mock, but he can make the Miss Mag play here. I really want to spore on the Miss Mag. I really do. Yes! Show it to me. Boom, baby! Let's go! Oh my god. I think my big issue against Shay last time was I didn't go with my gut when I needed to. Now, we are in a driver's seat. We are in a good position. That crit definitely sucks for Shay, but I feel like the position was still the same. I'm going to Rock Tomb on a Scizor Switch. Because it slows this thing down anyways. Let's fucking go. Because obvious grass move is obvious here. So he might go into Raptor on a crazy aggressive play, or he goes Scizor, which is super big chip. Chipping Scizor, obviously, if you saw the last one, we need to chip Scizor as much goddamn puzzles. So, oh my god, let's go. It's going perfectly. He's going to Witcher off. Sack off Meowskarada. What do we see? Gone fan. Well, I could have clicked a grass move there, sir. <laughs> Rock Tomb. It's fine. I slow this thing down a little bit. And I'm going to get some bullet seed damage off here. Get some bullet seed. If he wants to keep switching around, he can. Um, I don't know why he went into this, though. Because obvious grass move was obvious on the mismag. But, you know. Because he's faster than me. Are you Scarfied? I think you're Scarfied. I think you're Scarfied. Yeah, you have to be Scarfed. Okay, so he's Scarfed into close combat. So then Gengar can come in. And click Sludge Bomb. Or you're Scarfed. I don't want to pop this just yet. No, that's not a good play. You're Scarfed into CC. I'm going to go into this and Brave Bird. Yeah, I'm going to go into Corviknight and Brave Bird. He doesn't actually have a flying resist on this team. Because Gastrodon going, setting up rocks doesn't get me anywhere. Because I have to defog the Meowskarada spikes anyways. So I'm just going to Brave Bird. If he wants to trade one for one, I'm fine getting rid of this thing. Because that means no spin on his end. Um, otherwise, he's just sacking something here. Goes into Hawthorne. Well, speak of the goddamn devil. Also, I check you, so I don't get what's happening here. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what's happening here. Yeah, I don't, I don't fully get what's happening here. I'm gonna roost once just to see what he does. Unless he just wants the pivot, but I don't know. <laughs> if he's final gambit, he's not gonna kill me. So like, that's fine. And if he's just clicking close combat, that's also fine with me. So, like, 
We're chilling there. This thing getting shifted opens up Gengar and Slitherwing immensely. Because I'm pretty sure this thing is scarfed. Final Gambit. That shouldn't kill me. Oh, yeah. Eating it up. Eating it up! Oh, my God. We are in the driver's seat. We are cruising. I got no water in my cup. This is so sad. Yeah, let's go. He just sacked Raptor. This is a perfect position for me. He just sacked Raptor. So now he doesn't have a ghost resist because Meow Scrata just dies. He doesn't have a ghost resist. He doesn't have, unless he's double scarf, Miss Mag, Gardevoir. No, Gar Miss, or uh, Slitherwing's faster. He, we literally win. Hershifu. I'm clicking U-turn. Thunder Punch. That's kind of annoying, but it's not the biggest deal. Ow, you might be banded, but now you're going to die. You're not going to die. Oh my god. Okay. So I think you're... Do I think you're banded in the Thunder Punch? Do I care? So then I want to go into Chen Pao. I want to go into Chen Pao. Although, Slitherwing also works. And maybe I should have went Slitherwing to pop this off. Um, I'm just going to crunch here, though. Force a kill. It should be this thing. Yeah, I'm just going to crunch. It should just be this. He might sucker punch for last minute damage. He's going to Witch Raw. Hard gone, fam. No, he's going to sack off Guttermane. But why keep the... Why keep the Meow Scarada instead? Nate, why keep the Meow Scarada instead? Is my question. Scizor, Great Tusk, Meow Scarada, Gardevoir. Great Tusk comes in. Sizzy 6. I'm terraing, and I'm clicking Crunch. You are not getting any value out of this, sir. I'm clicking Dark Bolt, or I'm clicking Crunch here. And you cannot stop me. No, you cannot stop me. He's Scarf Gone fan, so this doesn't matter. Meow Scarada's at 1 HP. I have ways of revenging it, and Gardevoir, for all I know, is Scarfed. Otherwise, I'm not overly concerned about it. Still have Gastrodon. I don't have good switch into this Pokemon anyways. I'm clicking Crunch. Also, because if he clicks Bullet Punch, then I can Sucker Punch him next turn and kill him. And just play off his misplay. But he should CC to get rid of me. But I will take the damage on that. Crunch. And that does a shit ton. He's gonna U-turn. And I live. Does me living tell me anything? Yeah, that tells me he's not banded. That tells me he's not banded. Let's go. Yes! 25% gone fan. I scout with this thing locks into and I win with uh, Slitherwing. Yep. I scout with this thing locks into and I win with Slitherwing. I'm just going to sucker punch for chip. Get some last minute sucker punch chip skis. See what this thing locks into. Oh my god, that did so much. Oh, that was a crit. Tough. Close combat. We go into Slitherwing. We pop our thing. Doesn't matter if he's faster, I get a bulk up off. Yeah. I think I think we're chilling. Because I'm faster than Gardevoir. Scizor's not banded. I'm faster than Meow. Yeah, I win. All the hard work might be for not or might be for, for good reason at least. Please do it right. Please do it right. Yes. Okay. So I just need to bulk up once. Bulk up once and win. Just bulk up once and win. And I don't see there's any... I don't see any other out. I really don't. I think even if he makes hard Gardevoir, I win. So they're winning. He's going to Witch Draw hard. Yeah, it dies. Everything dies. I win. That's game. Let's go! This should be it, baby. This should be it. I don't see any other way out. This shit's fire, baby. Oh, my God. I really do be in the lab cooking sometimes. I really do be in the lab cooking sometimes. That's one. Let's go. That's it. That's it. That's finals. That's finals. That's got to be. I don't see any other way. Show it to me, baby. There's no other way out. There's no way out. There's no way out. Especially because he's scarfed in a fucking thing. Safe search. Gardevoir. This dies. 
and I'm faster. This dies. This dies. It didn't die? How? I live this. Eating it up! We're eating it up! How does that not die? How fat is this Gardevoir? How fat is this Gardevoir? Holy shit! Okay. I still get two though. It's just Scizor and Great Tusk, and Gastrodon guarantees a kill with counter. Bro! How fat is that fucking... Jesus! How fat is that fucking Gardevoir? Why did it live? Terra Steel Bullet Punch. That's fine. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling because Great Tusk cannot lock into a move. If it locks into close combat, Gengar wins. If it locks into... Um, ground move, then Corviknight wins. So I just go Gastron here. I go Gastron here. Gastrodon. Scizor. Just Chilling Water kill from here. Chilling Water does not kill, but there's nothing that Scizor can do to get rid of me. If he U-turns, it's fine. Going to Gastrodon. I'm just going to counter. Right? I just don't want him to SD in my face. U turns. Okay. I chilling water into the Great Tusk. That's fine. Ah! Uh, I just don't want that Scizor getting out of hand. Lives on one. This thing doesn't get any grass type coverage. No, this thing should not be able to kill my Gastron in any universe. So I'm going to recover. CC. Eat that up. Does Terra Steel Scizor Bullet Punch kill my Gengar? Is the other question. It does not. It does not kill my Gengar. So I'm going to make the Gengar play English Shadow Ball. Because if he doubles calling it, then that's fine. And then I can Shadow Ball to prevent the setup. Okay. That's finals, baby. Let's go! Yes! Because Scizor comes in, doesn't kill me. And we get rid of it. I don't see any way we lose this. I really don't. Let's fucking go. Just one Scizor left. Bullet punch. We should eat this. I got a hefty amount of defense in me. That's my boy, Gengar! Let's go! To finals! One more for Cheshire! Yes! Crit didn't matter. I'm Specs. Let's go! Oh my god. Dude, this Slitherwing's fucking goat. I'm crazy with it. I've known, I want you to know, I've known since draft analysis that Slitherwing can boost speed. I just haven't found the matchup to use it. Oh my god, let's fucking go. GG's to Shay, amazing game. I feel like I played super well, but uh, Shay brought a really good team and played really well as well. It had an amazing season. He upset the one seed in John. And uh, yeah, but with that, we are heading to finals where we will play either Jay Bear or Gray. So make sure you guys go check out those two coaches and their uh, semi-final uploads. Make sure to see who would be playing in the grand finals of BBR. So if you guys enjoyed today's Wi-Fi battle, make sure you like button and subscribe button down below. On the left hand side, will be a YouTube video recommended for you. And on the right hand side, will be the rest of our BBR season four playlist if you haven't checked it out already. So with that, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Kurt, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm out. Bye.